So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which I'm going to show you how copy command works in the Docker file. And as the name says, it's pretty straightforward, relatively straightforward. So what you have to do is just go ahead and say copy um, source and destination, right? So what file should be copied? So for example, if I say flag.txt, right? and where it should be copied. Now, obviously you can obviously guess that source should be a file which is on your host itself. And the destination should be a path or a file name on the Docker container. So here you have to give paths relative to how it would look like inside the container itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say root and let's say my flag.txt like this. And obviously, how should this be determined? With the context you pass right here. So you can see right now I passed in a dot. That means I'm inside this Docker folder. That means this flag should be looked inside this folder itself. Right? So if I write, hey, I was just on the host machine. Right? Hit save. Now, when I run, when I build this image again, What's going to happen is that it would, while creating this image, would actually create, uh, copy this file as well. So if I go ahead and hit enter, you're gonna see our image is created. And now if I go ahead and just pick this up and docker run it and run this. And if I go to root, what I'm gonna see is I can see this file already there for me. So if I do a cat of this, we're gonna see, hey, I was just on the host machine, which is exactly what the file was, right? And it's named is also, its name is also changed to my flag because that's how we copied it. So you can copy multiple files, like if you want to copy all the files, so you can do a dot, that is, that means all the files, and then dot means all the files into the particular directory on the root machine but this would involve actually work directory, but we're gonna get to that later on in the next video. So I guess, yeah, that, that's a good start to copy. So you can just copy a single file. Maybe you can copy a folder. So if you have a folder here, you can copy this folder to root and folder, and it could have a bunch of multiple files. For example, this could have one.txt, one and two.txt, two, right? And now, if I just go ahead and exit this and build this image again, run it again, you can see if I go to root, we have a folder here and we have one.txt inside this with one and two.txt with two, right? So pretty decent, pretty handy, handy, you know, command. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you then in the next one.